Activision confirms Modern Warfare 3 is a $70 game and not MW2 DLC Charlie Intel. Call of Duty officially announced Modern Warfare 3 will be the franchise's 2023 premium installment. Here's everything you need to know about MW3, including the release date, beta details, its price and additions, new features, and more. Since Modern Warfare 3's reveal, fans have been receiving a ton of information regarding the campaign, multiplayer, and the first ever zombies mode within the Modern Warfare saga. Luckily, Call of Duty have been sharing details about the game's content, so we're breaking down everything we know about Modern Warfare 3 as the release date approaches. Call of Duty have officially confirmed that Modern Warfare 3 is set to release on November 10, 2023. Modern Warfare 3 will be available on several platforms, including PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, and PC. In an August 16 blog post, Call of Duty confirmed that Modern Warfare 3 will serve as a direct sequel to 2022's Modern Warfare 2, being the first time ever that COD releases a sequel back-to-back -back from the same saga. They also added that both games have been years in the making, with both lead developers Infinity Ward, MW2, and Sledgehammer Games, MW3, working closely to create a blockbuster sequel in the Modern Warfare series. Modern Warfare 3 has three different editions available. Standard and cross-general editions cost $69.99 or £69.99, and the bonus packed Vault Edition costs $99.99 or £99.99. Standard and cross-general editions will be available for PC and consoles, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, respectively. Meanwhile, the Vault Edition will be available for all platforms. All editions will also contain pre-order bonus content, including exclusive operators' skins, campaign and beta early access, and more. Pre-orders for MW3 are now available across all platforms. Modern Warfare 3 will have beta access available for players starting October 6. To gain early access to the beta, players will have to pre-order any of the game's available editions or wait until the open beta weekends are released. Here's the schedule for the Modern Warfare 3 beta. Weekend 1. PlayStation Exclusive. October 6 to the 7th. PlayStation Early Access. October 8 to the 10th. PlayStation Open Beta. The Weekend 2. Crossplay Beta. October 12 to the 13th. Xbox and PC Early Access. PlayStation Open Beta. October 14 to the 16th. All Platforms Open Beta. Modern Warfare 3 will have a campaign early access period available up to a week early, prior to the game's launch. If it matches last year, it could be available on November 2nd. However, at the moment, an exact date hasn't been provided. To play the campaign early access, players will have to pre-order any of the game's available editions. Returning after last year's success, Call of Duty, next will take place on October 5, 2023 including Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer reveal and additional information about the future of Warzone. In addition, similar to last year's event, it's expected that several of the most popular Call of Duty content creators will come together at the franchise's largest in-person event to exclusively try out and live-stream both titles. So far, we know that Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer maps available at launch will include remastered versions of the entire MW2 2009 multiplayer map roster, with the devs confirming that an additional 12 maps will arrive post-launch during the game's lifecycle. Here are all of the Modern Warfare 3 maps revealed so far. Terminal Afghan Estate Wasteland Karachi Rundown Invasion Derail Skidrow Underpass Subbase Quarry Favela Highrise Rust Scrapyard After a long wait, Call of Duty officially confirmed that Modern Warfare 3 will feature a Zombies mode, being the first time the popular mode arrives within the Modern Warfare series. The mode will combine Warzone 2 DMZ and Black Ops Cold War Outbreak mode styles into one giant experience, 
allowing up to 24 players in squads of 4 players each to play against the environment PvE, on the next Warzone map. Additionally, it will follow Treyarch's zombie storyline and will bring back fan-favorite features from the popular dev team, such as mystery boxes, wall buys, pack a punch, and more. It has now been confirmed that Sledgehammer Games will be Modern Warfare 3's lead developer, with multiple studios supporting SHG, as we've seen in the latest titles. Sledgehammer co-developed the original Modern Warfare 3 with Infinity Ward before being the main developers of Advanced Warfare, World War II, and most recently, Vanguard. Sledgehammer Games have confirmed that Modern Warfare 3 will bring back the classic Red Dot minimap, which means that red dots will appear on the minimap when enemies fire unsilenced weapons. After being changed back and forth depending on which team is leading the development of the latest COD game, Sledgehammer Games will bring back one of the most requested gameplay features in the last years. On August 16's blog post, Call of Duty confirmed that the previously leaked new gear-based perk system will be coming to the game. This will feature the return of Ninja in Modern Warfare 3, newly called the Silent Movement perk. This new gear system could allow players to select different pieces of gear such as vests and gloves, which will serve as their perks, replacing the classic perk system where players had to choose three different perks, each one for a different slot. Sledgehammer Games War Game Mode, initially launched within World War II in 2017, will officially be returning in Modern Warfare 3. In this mode, players engaged in a variety of custom-designed maps carrying out objective-based missions. War mode encouraged teamwork as players collaborated to accomplish tasks like planting bombs, capturing control points, and constructing bridges for offensive purposes. This mode was particularly appealing to those seeking a team-oriented gameplay experience, offering opportunities to both defend and attack strategic objectives. On August 22, Sledgehammer Games unveiled the first official Modern Warfare 3 gameplay trailer at the Gamescom event, giving players a first look at some weapons that will arrive with the game. Previously, alleged MW3 Alpha images were leaked, hinting at some weapons that could be included in the game. MW3 weaponry is rumored to include the fan-favorite MP5, UMP45, Uzi, ACR, and SCAR-H, among many others. With MW2 weapons carrying over to MW3, it looks like weapon platforms will continue to be available in this year's game. Activision have announced that content from Modern Warfare 2, such as weapons, operators, and store bundles will indeed carry over to 2023's Modern Warfare 3. In a Q&A blog, they revealed the new Carry Forward feature which will let players transfer existing content from Modern Warfare 2 into Modern Warfare 3, allowing players to use all their MW2 unlocks and progress since MW3's launch. All in all, this is everything we know so far about SHG's Modern Warfare 3. Be sure to stay tuned for any future updates. Thanks for watching.